Hi guys, this is the Fuse HD, and today I'm I'm bringing you a tutorial on Cinema 4D, um, how to make a basic intro. So yeah, let's start. I'm gonna go to MoGraph. You're gonna insert a text object, and um, here you just customize your text. I'll write tutorial like this. Make the depth a little bit bigger. Choose another font because I don't like this one. This one looks nice. And you can align it to the middle. Middle, sorry. And um, yeah, that's basically your text. You can insert uh, insert more texts. Just go back to MoGraph and you're gonna insert another text. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna insert a material. Double click here, double click on the little sphere, and you just choose your color here. Um, I'll choose a nice kind of bluish green one, like this. But I'm gonna also add some reflection to it, this will make it look nice. Yeah gonna drag the material over onto your text and you'll see that your text is gonna be colored um, let's render it and um, this doesn't really look nice so it miss it's missing something so yeah you're gonna insert a plane gonna make this plane like 10,000 by 10,000 So it covers up the whole ground. And you're gonna make another material. And you're gonna make I'm just gonna make it reflecting again. But I'm gonna leave it white and add a little bit of blurriness to it. This will make you have a more realistic effect. But um I don't have a lot of time to make this tutorial, so I'm not gonna go really into the reflection thing. It could be a lot better, but well yeah, it isn't. So I'm just going to render it again, and as you see, um, there's a reflection, but it's still missing something, and um, yeah, we're going to add some lights to it. going to go here, going to drag a spotlight, and you're just going to drag it here, zoom a little bit out so you can see it, click this. A little bit down, and I'm gonna insert another light to make it have a more 3D effect. I'm gonna drag it. This. Now what you wanna do is you press this button, and you can see there's a little sphere, and you just make it turn. Um, gonna press this again and add some light to this side. this and we're gonna zoom back in let it render again and see how it looks like I think uh, this looks a lot nicer it's not the best but this is just to um, showing you um, people who are um, beginning with uh, Cinema 4D, how to uh, create a text object, how to make it uh, transparent and stuff, and yeah, it's just a little quick tutorial for beginners. So now we're gonna add the camera, and this is our uh, last step. You're gonna go here to camera. Uh, you're gonna go here again to cameras, scene cameras, camera. Now. This is a little bit harder, but um, yeah, if you do it right, it it can't really go wrong. So what you do is, uh, so what you're gonna do is, you're gonna go to the point where you want the camera to start recording, okay? So um, I want to start recording at the O, like this. Wait. Oh yeah, like this. 
I'm going to press here keyframe now this will allow us this will allow us to um make the camera move and turn however you want it to be uh which is going to make it look really cool and really realistic so i'm going to go to uh frame 50 now and um i'm going to go here press keyframe again now what you want to do is i want to go there and you want to press keyframe oh wait sorry did that wrong gonna go to uh, next frame and gonna turn the camera and go back there because I did it wrong and you're gonna press keyframe again and now I'm um, gonna zoom back out we are going to go here Oh, sorry, I did that wrong again. So you're gonna go here and zoom a little bit out again. And I'm um, gonna press keyframe again. So yeah, that's basically it. Let's just take a look at our animation. It's gonna zoom out. It's gonna go here and yeah. That's, to be honest, I don't really like it, but it's just to show you guys how to do this. You can make it more difficult, more complicated, but yeah. Now we're gonna look at our render settings. I'm gonna go to um, output, and um, depends on how strong your computer is. Um, I'm working on a VAIO laptop, so it's not really a computer designed for this, so. I'm not gonna make the quality a lot very high, I'm gonna make it 480p. And uh, you're gonna press here from frame 1 to your last frame. That's really important because if you don't do that, it will just be um, one image or the half of your um, animation. So don't forget to do that. And here you can change the frame rate, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, here, I'm gonna browse where you want to save it. I'm gonna hear it. Tutorial. Like this. I'm gonna. And here, this is also really important. You wanna choose AVI or QuickTime Movie. If you don't do that, you'll get 90 pictures. 100 pictures or something. So I'm gonna choose a QuickTime Movie. I'm not going to include sound because I don't have any sound. And um, yeah, that's about my um, rendering settings. And what you want to do now is you're going to save this as tutorial again. Uh, no. And you're going to render. So that's basically it. Thank you uh, for watching, and um, yeah, this has been The Fuse. I'm out. Peace.